Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody wanted, needed some help vectorizing this bitmap. And it is a little bit different, and it's so simple, but you need to kind of go through some steps. I thought I'd make a video. So we're going to go to bitmap and resample it. I've already resampled it to 600 dots per inch. That makes it good in a lot of dots per inch. Convert it to a bitmap. Convert it to black and white. And then trace. Your trace might be under bitmap. Outline trace, clip art, which I use most of the time. Corel's going to ask you to make it smaller. Uh, this is Corel 2019, so it doesn't have a bar. It's got a graph or a digital. So we're going to move our new copy over here, and you can see it's got a white box. Now, this is how simple this is. We're going to go to group and ungroup. We're going to take away the white background, but you cannot take away this white background. You can, but there's a lot of steps. But if we select it all and take away the background or all the color for the fill with a left click and then go down to black and right click, now you cannot still just fill it in until you combine it. And we're going to combine that. And then we can right click on the fill and we get that image. Now it's still a little bit rough. But it's a finger, you know, it's joints and fingerprint. If you have Corel 19 and above, you can get the smooth tool and make it really big. Click on your item. Have your uh, sensitivity or rate real low, like 11. And just touch it just for a second. And that'll smooth out some of those and look a, possibly a little bit better. But let's back up here. If you don't combine it, you have to go in with the Smart Fill tool and fill in that, but you still don't have all the parts. Uh, well, it looks like we have all but about five. So if you combine it, you've got all the parts filled. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.